Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your 2022 outlook in love. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, what you can expect when it comes to love for the year 2022. This is a bonus reading. And as always, all readings are general, so they will not resonate with every single Gemini watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your other placements. Um, I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box so that you can check out your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance in your birth chart. So let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirits, angels, guides, insight, guidance, please. For Gemini, when it comes to love for the year 2022, what can Gemini expect in love for the year 2022? What can Geminis expect in love for the year 2022? What can Geminis expect in love for the year 2022? Okay. What can Geminis expect in love for the year 2022? Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, I'm going to take all the ones that flipped up. So we have standing firm. Hidden feelings. Standing firm is about standing firm against any challenges. Hidden feelings, you know, obviously someone hiding their feelings due to fear or just they haven't been able to reveal their feelings. Love letter, special message, happy ending and reach out. So there's definitely going to be communication from um, someone regarding love or this is going to affect your love life in some way. Someone might reveal their feelings for you. Um, someone that might have hidden their feelings for a while. Let me grab a uh, romance angel as well. What else for Gemini? What else can Gemini expect in love? Now we have happy ending. This is kind of like my 10 of cups of this deck. So I think this is going to be really special, um, Gemini. I don't think this is just going to be any old message. I think this message will... Uh, lead to something very beautiful getting to know each other and make the effort oh yes you're definitely meeting someone as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so i feel like this is for gemini's who um have made an effort in love or made an effort in finding someone this could also be that someone's willing to make the effort necessary to actually get to know you okay so we're going to be looking at um what can you expect in love who you, will you possibly be dealing with we'll look also at maybe some details about this person and um we're going to also be looking at any advice from spirit for how to approach love in 2022 all right spirit can you tell us what can gemini expect in love for the year 2022 what can gemini expect in love for the year 2022 what can gemini expect in love for the year 2022 let's cut the deck Page of Cups reverse with Six of Wands reverse. Death reverse, Scorpio energy, King of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, and Page of Pentacles. So I, I almost picture like a journey here. The bottom of the deck, I have the Chariot reverse, Cancer energy. It's almost like um, a slow... Uh, progression from difficulty or a, a lack of success in love to full-on commitment and potential for something very stable um i think things are just going to happen slowly you know tale as old as time for gemini's i swear it's like the world's biggest joke and i say that as a gemini sun and a gemini gemini venus um also an aries moon so i like things quick i like things fast I like things to happen quickly <laughs> so I just think it's funny that this is normally what happens for Gemini's it's like we're meant to learn how to slow things down and wait for things right which is the opposite of what 
we really are built to do. Anyways, so basically I see here with the Page of Cups reverse, King of Cups is here, Chariot is here, Death card is here. I'm thinking there's a lot of water energy, so you might be dealing with a water sign or someone with water in their chart. It could also be dealing with a Taurus. Um, I feel like there's someone that's coming your way that's like a King of Cups energy. Very loving, very sweet, um, very emotionally mature, someone that is willing to love you. I think for some of you, this is someone you already know because um, the death card is reversed. So sometimes when death is reversed, I think of someone that doesn't want things to end. So if this is a connection that you know happened a long time ago and they kind of want to revive it they don't want it to end right but for others of you when i see death reverse i'm also uh, it's all it's like i'm i'm getting this energy of someone who comes in right before a big ending or change in your life we'll see if i'm right about that because i'm going to clarify these energies with my little clarifying deck but with death reverse, it's like something's not officially done, officially over when this person comes in. Let me get some um, insight clarity for Gemini. I think at the beginning of the year or towards the beginning of 2022, a lot of you might be feeling like you're not successful in love, like nothing works out in love. There might be some disappointment. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse and the Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Page of Cups reverse with the Six of Wands reverse? Yeah, Nine of Cups. I think um, some of you might be having an idea in mind of what you want or who you want, but maybe it's just not meant for you or it's, it's not the right time or Spirit has other plans. I don't think it's a complete no, but for some of you it could be, um, because I'm getting, um, yeah, I'm getting that some of you might need to leave this behind. The chariot shows up again. Eight of Swords and the chariot complete different energies. The chariot kind of is moving fast, quickly towards something. Eyes open, hands are nice and open, guiding their way or guiding these two, I guess, are sphinxes. Um, to pull this chariot. Whereas the Eight of Swords is someone that's blinded, blindfolded, tied up, can't see their way forward, can't see their way out of a situation. So I think you're in your head a lot about what's happening or not happening, Gemini. But I think what Spirit wants you to do is look at a new direction. Look at something else or head in a new direction. Some of you, this could be somebody coming in when you feel like, you know, all is lost. Tell me about death reverse with the king of cups. Why is death reverse with the king of cups? Two of wands. Yeah. I for a lot of you, I think there's there is it's like you're be, you're going to be headed in a new path and you're going to meet this other person or this person comes in at that time. Yeah. It's like it's like you catch someone's eye, queen of wands, or you're taking some sort of action, queen of wands, two of wands. Oh, why is the Two of Swords here? Ten of Wands, Justice, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like, I don't know, it's like a tug of war. It's like a tug of war here. Why is the Two of Swords here? What are you, I, I, I feel like it might be due to fear. Oh, Seven of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? What is this? Okay. The star and then the five of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like this is someone, um, ooh, okay. Hmm. This is, I feel, the person that's hiding their feelings for you. I feel like someone takes notice of you and is trying to figure out how to get to you. How to get your attention, how to approach you, how to ask you out, something like that. Um, I feel like th th this person, I don't know. It's, it's almost like... Um, I'm not getting someone that is being deceptive in a bad way, um, especially with the star here. I don't know. It's like they're tiptoeing around you, but why? 
Wow. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, the Fool, Three of Swords. Something has happened here. Um, mm, the Moon. Holy crap. Interesting. I almost get the sense that this is someone fighting for your attention or fighting to win you back. I, I, I don't know which one. I think it's different for whoever's watching. But it, it hasn't been easy for this person. I feel like whoever this is, this King of Cups, they can't be open with their feelings towards you for whatever reason. Maybe because something has to end first or change first before they can um, really be open with how they feel. And this could be anything, Gemini. For example, let's say this is completely random, but what if you meet someone at work and they're your boss? Well, maybe they don't want to be involved with you because that would make things weird at work. You know, I don't, I, I'm not getting like super bad energy here. Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. Yeah, exactly. Just fell out of the deck just now. I think this is going to start something new for you. This King of Cups. And I think it's going to end very well because I have the Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles here. It's like someone asks you out on a date or a date goes very well and before you know it, you know, you're headed towards commitment with this person. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles. The lovers, Gemini energy. There you are. Justice, Libra energy at the bottom of the deck, and the Knight of Pentacles. I think this is going to be a relationship you take your time with. I think it's going to de develop slowly. You might start off as friends. Um, you might have that, you know, pull and push and pull situation where it's like, do they really like me like that? Um, but I think in the end, this is going to end in, in, in some sort of a commitment or relationship with the lovers. Two of Cups came out as well. This could be a soulmate that you meet. So let's see if we can get some insight into who you will be meeting or dealing with. Can you tell us a little bit about who Gemini will be dealing with meeting in the year 2022? You might be meeting multiple people, but we'll see what we get. What does Gemini need to know about this other person coming their way in 2022? What does Gemini need to know? King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Reverse. So I feel like, oh, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is someone who d really is attracted to you, dr um, drawn to you. Uh, this could be somebody that's very charismatic. Um, they might be very attractive. They could be a boss, supervisor, leader of some sort. What do we need to know about this person? I feel like this is someone successful. This could be an entrepreneur, someone that owns a business or multiple businesses and the king of wands queen of wands is here so it's almost like they see part of you in them um, and are really drawn to you can we get some more insight into this person the bat and the swan so the bat is again uh, similar to the death card and then the swan is about creativity expression so I feel like this is someone who, whoever's coming in, perhaps are coming in after a, an ending of a cycle in their life. Um, I feel like once this happens, they will learn from this experience, maybe transform, change, uh, uh, grow, mature. Um, and I feel like they're, they'll be um, able to express themselves better, learn from themselves better, learn about love, learn about how to deal with love, um, the deer is at the bottom of the deck. This is kind of like the queen of cups of this deck. Um, so that kind of makes sense to me. Okay. Let me get one more. I'm going to use my stellar rainbow deck here. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? I'm also getting that for uh, some of you Geminis out there, this person has to actively choose you. Uh, it's like they choose you over someone else or they choose you over some other priority they have in their life. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Purity, clarity, and innocence. What do we need to know about this person? 
So I feel like this person has pure intentions, yeah. Um, Gemini, you showed up again. This could be another Gemini that you meet, but I have a feeling that they have good intentions, a purity uh, towards you. Bottom of the deck is Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Very serious, grounded, practical energy here with Earth sign. You could be meeting someone with that is an Earth sign or dealing with an Earth sign. Um, okay, so uh, let me get a clarifier for this King of Wands. Can you tell me about this King of Wands for Gemini? What's this King of Wands about? The world and the King of Cups, exactly. Yeah, the Empress at the bottom of the deck, yeah. This person, they're going to see you and that you are what they want. They want to do whatever it takes to have a new cycle with you very attracted to you, but also um, they have a lot of emotions towards you. So this is very sweet. I, I, I feel like this is very sweet. They recognize your value here, Gemini. The tower behind that and then the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. I think you're going to rock their world. <laughs> like I think you're going to change things for them. Uh, or you're going to be very different than people that they normally deal with or something about you is just they're not prepared for you. Any advice, guidance for Gemini's um, for 2022 regarding love and their approach to love? Any advice for Gemini's for 2022 regarding love, their approach to love? What's this? Not for you, number six. Yeah, some of you, um, there's going to be a circumstance or a situation where is that's kind of the same thing where there's you're gonna have to recognize that something that you probably wanted or desired or thought was for you was probably not for you but that could be a blessing in disguise anything else for gemini gemini any other advice guidance for 2022 or how they approach love TikTok, yeah <sighs> gemini's we always get the same the same situation or the same message, I guess. Time for a nap at the bottom of the deck. So this is almost like a message about it's not up to us. It's not up to us. We don't control any of this. Um, I feel like Geminis are learning that even though we can manifest great things, even though we can desire certain things and think that those are exactly what we need, um, that doesn't mean that that's true. Um, I feel like there's some sort of dream or idea that Gemini's will have to let go of in the beginning of the year. Um, and it's almost like you're just going to have to just go with the flow until you meet this person that you're meant to be with, or you mm, are in a relationship that you're meant to be in. Something like that is kind of what I'm getting here in the right time, of course, because it's all about timing for Gemini's. Uh, so that's what I have for you, Gemini, for the year 2022 and what's coming your way, what you need to know. Someone's definitely reaching out or messaging you or um, ex expressing their feelings for you in the year 2022. It's all over this reading. Um, someone that I feel has good intentions, pure intentions towards you and recognizes your worth. So that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this reading, hit the like button and subscribe. I just lost my voice like so quickly. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.